Welcome into this episode of Just Another Year Bulls. I am joined by Bulls Virtuoso and my co-host Nick Barr. Today is day eight of our 2023-2024 Chicago Bulls Player Spotlights. Be sure to check out our previous spotlights after this video. Nick, who are we talking about today? We are talking about our boy Carly Jones. Um, he was a two-way player last year. Uh, so I think the fans, you know, we still got to get to know him a bit. He's 6'1", 185, a point guard, of course. He's 25 years old, and he actually went to Radford University, which so did Javante Green. And I'll be honest, those are the only two players I've ever heard even go to that school, so kind of wild. And he, he finished up his career at Louisville before playing in the G League for the past two seasons. And he was, in fact, named G League MVP back in uh, back in April. Um, and then another little fun fact for you, I'm just full of, he's playing for South Sudan, so he's South Sudanese, and he uh, they're playing right now in the FIBA World Cup, and he ha he dropped 35 points the other day, pretty cool, even though they lost to Puerto Rico, led the team to their first ever tournament win, so the, the first time they've ever won in the FIBA World Cup a couple days ago, and that was over China, so pretty cool he's kind of the he's kind of a big deal in south sudan so mm -hmm. hopefully he becomes a big deal in the states as well tony tell me how he can do that well the first thing is he doesn't have to run into a buzzsaw that is the puerto rican national team it sounds like so <laughs> with that he is a, he's a prolific scorer as nick mentioned obviously you know taking to account the international play the level of play the talent sure but he was still averaging 26.8 points per game in his 15 G League games, we the G League is is get it's get a lot better. Like that, that's no joke. Yeah. That is uh, like you said, he won the MVP. He is a good shooter from both inside and outside, making 50.2 percent of his shots from the field, 37.5 percent of his three pointers. He'd be like third on the Bulls with that percentage. He really is a good playmaker. Uh, he averages 7.5 assists per game in the G League, and he is a capable passer who could see the floor and make plays for his teammates. Exactly what this team is looking for, especially in Lonzo Ball's absence. On defense, he is a solid defender. Uh, he uses his quickness and his athleticism to stay in front of his man. He's also a good rebounder for his size, which that can never hurt. That's always something that you're looking for um, in a guy because it just mean, it means he hustles. That's really, especially as a point guard, that just means you hustle. For However, sure. still working his way up, and there are reasons. Nick, what are maybe some of those reasons? Unfortunately, the NBA is very heightest. Um, mm -hmm. basketball, it, it, it does, it does discriminate on your height. Um, but there's ways to define that. We, you know, we've seen it. Muggsy Bogues, Isaiah Thomas, some, some other folks like that. He is, so obviously he's undersized even for a point guard. I mean, he's six one, so this could make it difficult, you know, for him to guard once he's, you know, now that he's, now that he's been called up to the big boys. So we'll, that'll be interesting to see if he can keep relying on his athleticism and his ability to score. If he can keep that up, obviously he could he could make a solid impact. He's going to be fighting for minutes for sure. But, you know, the guy's under he, – he was undrafted. He, he, obviously, he's only really experienced a G League. Now he, he tore it up, of course. So I would hope he could still make somewhat of an impact on the – in the – no babies allowed league but yeah so he spent the last two seasons there he's got a lot of potential tony he's got a lot of potential he, you know he is i think going to see some time again lonzo's out and he's just came off the mvp so i'm hoping i'm hoping his size won't matter you know and if he can improve his defense a little bit and he can stay with some of the larger some of the larger point guards and then you know still be able to dish out play make um i mean seven and a half assists a game is no joke it doesn't matter what league you're in that's 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 serious you you can do something with the ball there i'm hoping he'll become a valuable contributor off the bench tony go ahead and take us out leaving you with the note that we are big proponents of size does not matter uh that'll do it yes. for this episode of just another year bulls our 2023 2024 chicago bulls player spotlights will continue with our beloved Zach Levine. Get excited, people. Zach Levine on Tuesday. So thank you again for tuning in. And as always, Bulls fans, keep seeing red.